Hi friends, I'm Arpita Karwa. I was just glued to my computer screen and I was preparing notes for my students. But uh, are you wondering why I'm having a laptop in my hand in this video lecture? It is because today we are going to talk about computers and information technology which forms an important part of our life and also forms an important part of paper 1 syllabus. Oh yes, UGC net paper 1 is what I'm talking about. We'll be looking at the topics which you need to study when it comes to the unit computers and IT. Computers have become an integral part of our lives. Almost everyone nowadays spends like four to five hours on computer screen, be it their work, playing games, listening to music, watching movies, making notes. There are so many advantages. Computers are just a powerful device through which we can do anything. Also, because this device has become an integral part of education system, it is important that every professor or would-be professor knows the basics about computer and for the same reason, every year five questions are asked in UGC Net Paper 1 from this topic. So we will be looking at all the important topics that you should study in the unit computer and information technology. If you are preparing for paper one, then please continue to watch this video till the end because we'll have a detailed discussion on all the topics so that you can channelize your preparation and you can score great marks in your next UGC NET paper one exam. अच्छी बात बोली। आपको अच्छी लगी? तो ऐसे थोड़ा मार दीजिए हाथ आप। थोड़ा सा मार दीजिए। So let's start with the basics. The first important topic that you must study under this unit is components of computer. To begin with, computers consist of CPU, that is central processing unit. It comprises of two things, ALU and CU. ALU is arithmetic logical unit and CU is control unit. Apart from this, you should also have basic knowledge of the memory, that is RAM, ROM and cache files. Cache bolte hai kai bar, but then the actual pronunciation is cache. What are these terms? RAM is random access memory. ROM is read-only memory and cache files are temporary files which are stored on your computer and only when you run a cleaner these files are removed and you are able to use that space. You must also have seen that when you install a cleaner on your mobile phone from Play Store and you run that cleaner you get access to almost 2-3 GB of storage because all the temporary files which were stored in your system were removed. Apart from this, you should also have basic knowledge of the peripheral devices. Peripheral devices kya hai? These are basic software and hardware that are used in computers. You should know what are these basic hardware components and what are the basic softwares which are in your computer. Can you name three hardware and software that are a part of your computer system? Pata hai? Agar pata hai, to comment karo. Comment down below right now and let me see how many of you get it right. Acha, ek cheez aur. If you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you are the first one to know about it. We are proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel right now in the field of UGC NET exam preparation. The next component or the next topic that you should study is about computer networks. All computers are generally used as separate devices. But if you connect all these computers together, they can do wonders. For example, I have a bungalow. I live on the first floor and my brother lives on the ground floor. And if I connect my computer to the same printer, like both of us, we connect our computers to the same printer, we both can use the same printer. Kharcha bachega. When I give a command from the first floor, my documents will be printed. And if my brother gives a command from the ground floor, the printer will print his documents. This is the benefit of having a computer network. There are a lot of other benefits which we discuss in detail in our online video course for UGC NET Paper 1. Speaking of computer network, you must also know some basic types of network. There is PAN which is personal area network. It is for personal use. Then we have LAN which is local area network. The computer in my house are connected to LAN. If you are a part of a college or a big institution, all the computers there must be connected with MAN, which is Metropolitan Area Network. It is connecting computers of a larger area. And then finally we have WAN, which is Wide Area Network. It connects all the computers from around the world. And a very, very important example of WAN is the internet, Google Baba. So with internet, we all are connected together. Just like Vasudev Kutumbakam, the entire world is my family. 
This is what you feel like when you are on the internet. Everything here is just one click away. Another important topic that must be studied in detail is language of computer. We all know different languages. Some of us know Hindi, English and several other languages like Chinese, Spanish, French and whatnot. Similarly, even computers have their own language and their language is very simple. Bilkul complicated nahi hai. It just has two digits in that language which is 0 and 1. Bas, do hi digit mein unka pura kaam ho jata. So anything that you communicate to your computer is translated into a series of zeros and ones. This language is called binary language or low level language or machine language. Do you know why is it called binary language? Pata hai to comment karo. Let me see how intelligent you are. Apart from this, you must also know that there are other kinds of languages related to computers. We have got high level languages like Java, C++ and all these computer developers and software developers, they are using the high level language because zero one kisko samajata, wo to computer ko aata, hume to C++ Java samajata, usko hum computer pe dete hain. These languages are something which we understand as humans, but the computers don't. So we need a compiler which can convert high level language into machine language so that our instructions are understandable to the computer. Next in line is basic terminologies related to internet and broadband. Ye to bilkul padiega for UGC net paper one. Har bar gazab ke questions aate hain se. You must have seen a modem. If you have a broadband connection in your house, I'm pretty sure आपके घर में modem होगा. देखा है क्या वो black या white color का डब्बा जिससे खराब होती है आपके जीवन में एकदम शांति और आपके घर वालों के जीवन में शांति आ जाती है. Why do we need that modem? Through a modem, analog signals are converted into digital signals. अब ये analog और digital signal क्या है? Digital signals are signals which are transported in a series of zero and one. Analog signals are signals which have wavelength frequency. Just a second. By the way. Just a fun fact, modem is made up of two words. What are those two words? Modulator and demodulator. Modulator ka mo or demodulator ka dem ko club karke ban, ban gaya word modem. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. Is video mein kaafi cheeze miss out kar rahi hoon. Kyunki mere paas time crunch hai, it's a crash course. So if you are looking for detailed course for UGC net paper 1, paper 2, uh, specifically for um, commerce, English and management, I have this amazing news for you. We offer four separate video courses for UGC net paper 1, UGC net paper 2 English, paper 2 management and paper 2 commerce. In all our online courses, we provide you with topic wise video lessons with rich animations covering all important topics in step by step manner which works even when you've not done any previous preparation. We also provide you high quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDFs, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that comes with detailed explanation. Plus after every test, you get a detailed performance report also along with All India Leaderboard which will help you spot your weak and strong areas. All these uh, topics that I'm covering in this video are a part of our online course. The detailed list of all these topics are given on our website free of cost and the name of the website is arpatakarva.com. Even if you're preparing for these exams on your own, we would highly recommend you to visit our website and download this detailed list of topics and check out solved past year papers of all these competitive exams. The link of our website and all the courses we offer is given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in our course. For more information related to the courses we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed right in front of your screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Next topic that you must study in this unit is storage devices. I remember when I was a kid, our teachers used to ask us to bring those projects in floppies, floppy disk. Floppy was one of the common kind of storage devices at that time and it used magnetic storage mechanism. Later came a time when DVDs and CDs became quite popular. When you were movies in the theatre, you could see a CD at home. These are optical devices and it also came a trend. Aaya. And finally now is the time when we use hard disk. We use like pen drives in which we can carry so much information. I've seen pen drives which are so portable that you can't even see them with naked eyes at times. They are so small and they can contain tons and tons of information. 
So this is how computers and things related to computers have developed over a period of time. You must also know a bit about the trend of storage devices and how they have changed. You should also know how the popular hard disk uh, are developed in today's time. So there are two popular ones right now, HDD and SSD. Full form pata hai to comment karo, dekhte hai kis kitna hai dam. The next topic that needs your attention is file extensions. I'm pretty sure that if you are observant enough, then you don't need to learn these file extensions because almost all of us must have worked on like Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word. And all of you must know the file extensions of common images and documents. Or if someone is thinking that the file extension is what is happening, then stop. We also tell you this. Whenever you store any image or document, you find that they are stored with a name and after that name, there's a particular extension. These extensions are asked frequently in net exam. For example, every word document that you store will have an extension of .doc. Every image has an extension .jpg or .png. Every Excel file will have an extension .xls. So you should remember all these popular extensions because in exam, they give you an extension and then they ask you which particular software uses this kind of extension. By the way, before we move ahead, if you are looking for B.Ed, UGC Net, MA Entrance, PhD Entrance, PGT, TGT exam updates, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us on all these social media platforms using our username Arpita Karva. We regularly post study tips, free study material on our Facebook Insta pages. Moreover, every Sunday we also share quick revision reels on these pages which will help you to rise important topics in less than 60 seconds. When I was a kid, there was a class which I absolutely used to hate. The ones where we were taught how to convert one storage unit into the other. That was the class of liter ko millimeter mein convert karo, kilogram or kilometer ko meter mein karo, centimeter mein karo, inches mein karo. These were units that were used for measurement. And I didn't understand how it was done Similarly, in order to measure the data stored in your computer, they use a different kind of unit. And what do they say? They are bytes. Now, these are different units of storage, just like we have kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and these are used in computers. If you think these words you don't know, then I will tell you, KB, GB, TB use, karte, ye unhi ke full forms. Hai. This is another important topic that needs your attention, and it is all about storage units. You should know how many bytes will make a kilobyte, how many kilobyte will make a megabyte, how many megabyte makes a gigabyte, and how many gigabyte makes a terabyte. You also need to know the sequence as in how to arrange these storage units from smallest to largest. A terabyte is greater than a gigabyte and a kilobyte is less than a megabyte. This comparison should be on your fingertips if you wish to ace UGC net exam. Next in line is acronyms, my favorite section. Every year at least one question comes from acronym in the paper. Don't you dare go to the exam without knowing all these popular acronyms. You should know simple acronyms like SMTP. It stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Then we have MOOC that stands for Massive Open Online Course. Then we have several other acronyms that may create havoc in your brain. All these acronyms come in the exam every year. If you are looking for past year papers of UGC Net so that you can see questions related to these acronyms, then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided past 10 years paper along with answer key free of cost on the website you can simply go download the paper and start your preparation right away the next important section you should not skip is terminology the internet is filled with terminology you should remember all these popular terms you'll get a list of popular terms when you go through the past year papers for example one popular term that is asked in ugc net exam a lot of time is bandwidth a bandwidth kya hota hai? bandwidth means the amount of data that can be transferred then we have things like what are boolean operators now whenever you search on google you use these boolean operators to narrow down your search result samjha are baba one such boolean operator is and and if i'm talking about two writers and i put and in between them what it means is ki wo sare google ke search pages aayenge jisme in dono writers ka naam mentioned hai wo search pages nahi aayenge jisme keval ek writer ka naam mentioned hai for example william shakespeare and jane austen to sirf wo search pages aayenge jinme dono writer ke bare mein information hai if i put or which means either of them to sirf ek writer ki bhi information hogi to pages aayenge 
So these are Boolean operators. Binary to decimal conversion is again very important. When I was preparing for UGC NET back in 2017, there was one type of question in UGC NET which came as a shock to me. And this section that I'm talking about is about that question. I had no clue how to solve these kind of questions, but then situations became better when I came across several YouTube videos which helped me to solve them. And then I realized that this type of questions I was scared of the easy thing. The section I'm talking about, I must uh, be sharing the name, is binary to decimal conversion and decimal to binary conversion. Basically, binary numbers are 0 and 1. They might give you a number like 250 and they ask you to convert that into binary. That means in a sequence of 0 and 1, you have to convert that number. And on the other hand, they might give you a binary number like 010.00 and then they ask you to convert that into decimal. You need to get the digits for which this binary number is there. If you have someone who can simplify this for you, these questions I'm telling you will be a cakewalk. This section requires your time and a bit of patience because it might sound a bit unfamiliar to you. So practice a few decimal and binary conversions before you sit for UGC net exam. Finally, let's jump on to the last topic which comes under the umbrella of computer and IT and that is internet. All of us use internet on a daily basis, but it is important that we know certain important terms associated with internet. You should know what is IP. IP stands for Internet Protocol. Every computer and laptop has an IP address by which you can be traced. This is a popular term that you will come across if you go and meet some web developers and software engineers. We all have Aadhaar card, right? Computer ka Aadhaar card is IP address. Hai. Do Aadhaar can same nahi ho sakte. Aadhaar number bhi same nahi ho sakta. Waise hi do uh, IP addresses kabhi same nahi ho sakte. Similarly, there are things like URL. My website is www.arpitakarva.com. Now this is URL of my website. A uniform resource locator. You should know what is a web browser. Now, you may also be asked that when was the first web browser released or which was the first web browser. By the way, bata deti hu. First web browser was Netscape. Yaad rakhna, agar exam mein aaya, to you'll thank me. You need to keep in mind all these trivial things related to internet if you want to achieve high marks in UGC NET paper one. These are very simple terms. If you go through past year papers, you'll come across all these basic terms. And when you search for these terms, you'll get a lot of information from different websites. But we try to online course to tell you in all terms ko bahut simple examples. Ke aapko bata de, jaise abhi aapko IP address. With that note, I end my video lecture. I have already made a few videos on UGC NET Paper 1 and covered all these important units in form of crash course lectures. You can go to my YouTube channel, look at the playlist of UGC NET Paper 1. You'll find all these important videos there. And make sure that you do not miss out if you are preparing for UGC NET Paper 1. So with that note, I end this video. Happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.